Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everyone had a great week and you're all enjoying your weekend. This video, I wanted to make it short and sweet and talk about HTTP. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this word before, hypertext transfer protocol. It's kind of the backbone. It is the backbone of the internet. I wanted to make this video first because actually understanding HTTP and just the basics of how it works is really the prerequisites and like the foundation to understand a lot of more complicated internet and web things. All right, so this video, I wrote down six important, just basic points about this protocol, HTTP. We're gonna talk through all six points, run through them and hope it's useful. All right guys, let's do it. First point, most basic point, is that HTTP follows the standard client server model or request response model. So I often use kitchens. I always use kitchens as my analogies because I don't know, it's really convenient, but we've talked about this before, basic client server model. You're a person going to eat at a kitchen, you're a client and the kitchen is responding to your request. So you go in, I want a Big Mac. The kitchen goes, all right, here's a Big Mac. So the web browser you're using right now to watch this video or any web browser that's running on your mobile phones, those are the clients to HTTP. And the servers for HTTP are all those web applications like YouTube, Facebook that are sitting on the cloud owned by different companies and just on the internet. All right, so point number one, really basic client server model and that's what HTTP follows. The second really important thing to understand about HTTP is that it's a stateless protocol. And what do we mean by stateless? What stateless kind of means is that every single transaction you make through HTTP is independent and it's not related to any other transactions. So let's just take a couple analogies like flipping a coin, flipping a coin is stateless, right? Heads, 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 tails, tails. Just because you got heads five times doesn't mean you couldn't get it with the same probability the next time, right? Flipping a coin is stateless. So even though HTTP is kind of a stateless protocol, you'll see that a lot of web applications still track your state somehow, right? And they do this via these things called sessions, cookies, and a lot of kind of stateful management of how web applications work with all their clients, but that's for another video, all right? So even though HTTP itself is stateless, you still get the functionality of state through other mechanisms, so remember that. The third important point about HTTP is that it's an application layer protocol and it sits on top of a transport layer protocol. 99.9% .9 of the case, HTTP uses TCP as its transport level protocol. So if the transport layer, if the transport layer is here, the application layer is a little above it, all right, in the stack of things. We can't get into the details of TCP in this video, but what it really does is it defines how data is sent from one place to the other, how the data is formatted, how the packets are sent, you know, how do you acknowledge things. It's kind of dictating the actual transport or the communication of the data itself. That's what TCP does. HTTP sits above that on the stack, right? So from HTTP's perspective, it doesn't care about how the data is sent. Those are details it doesn't care about. All it cares about is I request the web page, I wanna get some data back. I request that web page, I wanna get some data back. So it never cares about all those little details that TCP handles. So HTTP up here, TCP right below it. All right, on to the fourth thing. Fourth important thing about this protocol is that whenever the client requests something from the server, it always specifies a special action or method along with it. If you're a developer watching this video before, I'm sure you've heard of all these different methods or actions, get, post, delete, but these are all special actions to be performed by the server. Get is really simple. I just wanna get a page, read a page, all right? It's always read only. I wanna get a resource. Post, post is you're creating something new. So you're creating a new item in your shopping cart or you're creating a new friend in Facebook, but post is always for creating a new object. And delete, self-explanatory. Fifth, 
most important thing about HTTP is that it defines response status codes that the servers make back to the clients. I'm sure many of you have encountered some of these before. 200 means A-OK, -okay. 404 means not found, 500 means you effed up, but if you look at the documentation for HTTP, there's, so, there's a lot of these numbers defining what all the different status codes means, but what's really difficult is that it's actually up to the programmer to return the proper status codes, and more often than not, you don't really return the proper status code many times. Okay, so the sixth and last point, last core thing to understand about HTTP is that it supports these things called headers. All a header is, it's really simple. All headers are, are tiny bits of custom information that you send along with your request and with your responses. The main purpose of headers and all this custom little bits of information is to kind of tweak the operation of the request. So let me just give a few examples to hopefully make it more clear. One header that you can include in the request side of things is the content type of the data that's returned. So you could say, I want a text file, or I want an XML file, or I want a JSON file, but it's up to the client to be like, I'm gonna, I want some data, but I actually wanna choose what type or the format of the data I wanna get back. So it's gonna send a special header to be like, I want it as a text file. And the server's gonna recognize that and respond with a text file. So what we just talked about was actually a header that the client uses on the requesting side when they request stuff from the server. But on the flip side of that, when the server comes back with its response, it can also include custom headers. One really cool header that's returned from the server is something called cache control. And this is a really, really cool optimization technique of the internet and actually kind of determines how all these different resources are cached by all the different clients that are using them. All right, guys, so those are just two quick examples of headers. The first core thing that you have to remember always about headers is that headers are included both in the request side and the response side. So you can include headers in both directions. The next thing to remember about headers is that there's no standard rule book about headers, all right? There are a certain, there are a lot of them that are kind of well-defined, like cache control, content type. The ones that we talked about, those are well-defined headers but actually you can send whatever custom information you want. You could send a specific header that works just for your website and it's just, there are no rules. So if you ever look at some of the requests and responses that are going across the network, there's all these random headers sometimes and sometimes they're really application specific, all right? So there's no rule book for this. All right guys, that was six, six important things about HTTP that I just wanted to share with everyone first. As I said in the beginning of this video, understanding this protocol, it's still a really basic thing, but to really understand how the internet works, how web application works, how people hack stuff, how people do security, you have to understand HTTP first, and that's why I made this video first. And it's gonna serve as a good foundation for future videos when we talk about more advanced things. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you again, and thank you for your time. I'll catch everyone next week. All right, take care, kill it.